Hello friends, today in this video we'll learn um, how you can use Next.js 13 with Firebase version 9 uh, to implement paging. Now I know that a lot of you must be wondering why I had to create this video because A. The documentation on Google doesn't make sense. It's so confusing like if you read through these comments on GitHub um, on Firebase JS SDK, you will get to know about that how many people get confused uh, or misunderstood about the documentation. And it just doesn't make sense how to implement paging and, you know, Firebase didn't make it easy. Uh, I'm more than 100% sure that you have gone through all this documentation from the Firestore where you have read all these uh, things about the cursor to the query and, you know, document snapshot for the query cursor, pagination of the query with the help of limit and the start after bit. But it just doesn't make sense how to, how to implement it. So I thought, you know, let's talk about it in simple words, how to implement it, okay? So first thing first, I have written a Hackers Noon article. So just so I'll explain to you how you can do it and then I'll, uh, you know, show you how I have done it. Just give me one second. Okay, so let's start and understand. So I am trying to create this pagination on one of my apps. It's a very simple listing of all the emails sent out uh, statuses and then just page through it. Okay. So how does the component look? It's built on Next.js. So handle ne next page, handle previous, but we'll go through it later. Let's have a look at the fetch data uh, function. So I've defined a con uh, constant for page size 10 here. And this is an object which I have defined to send to the function which I have created for fetching a page related data. What it says is what is the name of your collection? right uh, how many pay how many records you want to show each page what action uh, it should trigger so for example next page previous page uh, what page number you are on and then which fields you want to show so for example i want to show subject created at status fields so you can define as many fields as you want um, order by field which or field you will be using to order by so i'm using created at order by order that is the field which tells me it is ascending or descending then last index and first index is the field where I'm saying, show me the result after this particular cursor or show me the uh, results before this particular cursor, right? Then I'm defining an array, which is a, a array of object where I define where field. So what is the name of the where field and what is the value? You can define it like ID and then ID of the, uh, of the uh, record you want to fetch. I'm fetching it with, with entity type and then entity ID, where I'm passing the entity ID here, okay? So very simple object with all these uh, dynamic values. And then I'll just pass this object here, and then it reverts back to me the records. Once the records are reverted back, I check if the records length is more than zero, that means there are records. If there are records, then I assign the last index to whatever number of records are, uh, you know, um, uh, sent back to me minus one and then the first index. Okay. And then what I do is I assign the value of this indexed record to this set after this state. So basically records last index and then my entity object order by field. So whatever order by field you will put in the object, it will assign it to the set after this uh, state. Same for set before this. And then I assign emails to uh, email records to uh, the email. Obviously, if the length is less, then it will show no records now. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, fetch paginated data. Uh, it's a very simple uh, function where I am requesting all the uh, object values here and I'm assigning it to the relevant uh, fields. Then I am looking at to the collection, whichever collection I'm, I want to fetch the records. Then I iterate through the where fields where I've defined, you know, the, the field names like these ones here. So I attach the query reference to it. So with the object name and object value. And then I check if the page is greater than one. That's because if I don't check, then it will always attach this start after, which I do not want. Okay, so after iterating through the where fields, I check if the page number is greater than one. 
Uh, and that's because if the page number is not greater than one, then you just fetch, you know, the normal query with the limit. If it is greater than one, then I determine what is the page action. If it is the user clicking on next button or previous, based on that, you have to provide a reference to the value of the order by field, which you want to escape and then start from the next value. Uh, in this case, where we click on next, if you want to get uh, values before uh, uh, previous values, then you provide the before this um, value uh, reference to the order by field. And that's how you, you know, uh, page through through the results. So it's very simple. I have created this script. You, I will put the download link for this simple function, fetch paginated data in the description of the video, and then you can download it from there. Okay, and then at the end, obviously, you can just click next and then paginate through the through the um, records here. If you have any other questions, give me a shout in the comments and um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.